code, navigation is essential for any app to succeed. Navigation is the backbone of all the apps. It allows users to find what they want easily and quickly and also allows you to have a seamless experience while using the app. So in this short tutorial, I'll show you how I created or implemented navigation in a React Native app, uh, which has been built with the React Native CLI with TypeScript. So starting off, I'll just open the app right now. So the app is opening right now. Initially, the app will open in the onboarding screen. So I'll just show you how I implemented the navigation structure and I'll explain a bit uh, for a moment. I'll just press on login now and then you'll see that we have bottom tab navigation and it will take us to multiple areas. Starting off, the entry point for any app is the index.js which points to the app.tsx. So here you'll find that I've added an auth provider and a main stack navigator. So the auth provider simply does a simple check if the user is logged in or logged out. And then the main stack navigator is the root of all navigation within the app. If you look to the side here, so I have a source folder. The source folder has all the items which I need the app including components, assets, constants, context, and navigation. So let's start by looking at navigation. So when you look at navigation, you'll see that we have a tab navigation, bottom tab navigation, which is here. So this is this has been provided by React Navigation. So you'll see here I imported bottom tab navigator as well as the stack navigator. So you have to import all your screens that you want to navigate between. And then in addition to that, I provided the the auth con context. So the auth context basically wraps the, the full app like you saw on the app.js. So the auth context wraps the full app. It allows you to check the login status, whether you are in any of the screens that you have in your app. For example, in my app, on the setting screen, you have the option to log out. So you have the option to log out. So this has been made possible using the auth provider because you'll see that I wrapped it, like it wraps the full app, meaning that all the components within the app can subscribe to whatever context that you have. So we'll have a look at that in a moment. So let me just go back to the bottom tab navigation. So here you have the different screens that you want to navigate between, but you have to make sure that you import the tab from create bottom tab navigator. And then you have to then like put all, put all, all your screens. Um, and then you must remember that uh, the name here you'll be using the name to when you want to navigate to any screens you'll be pointing to the name so you must make sure that these two are either the same or their uniqueness and that you shouldn't repeat any of the names uh, because that will confuse the system going down we have the main stack navigator the main stack navigator will have the context that we, stock, we spoke about. Uh, if to check if the user is logged in, or in or logged out, and then it also has the ability to, to log log a person in. So it's using async storage uh, for to it stores a token whenever a person logs in. It stores a token uh, for for that entry so that like whenever a person opens the app again you still have that token and then when you actually log out then it removes the token so that's how it keeps track of whether a person is logged in or logged out and then here i simply have a use date here which just checks now whether um while we're checking if the person is logged in we'll just have an indi activity indicator so that's that simple so 
we're coming to this return here so here we have our navigation container which wrapped the full uh, items within the, the full stack and then the stack I divided into two things there's the, the home drawer and the onboarding so the home drawer is basically like it points to the bottom tab that we so this should be like uh, like a correct name would, would be call it the home tab the idea of this is that you shouldn't have for example I can't name the screen home because like now I already have a home when I was depending on the tabs over there and then this is onboarding um, yeah and then this, that's basically it so it checks between if the user is logged in it will take take them to home but then if the look as user is not logged in it will take them to the onboarding screen that's, that's simple and then going to the context the auth context so here we using our react context create context to actually we have two values which we want to pass around the, the full app which is uh, whether a user is logged in and the ability to log in the user so so that's what we're doing here so we use a, this create context to define the like the values that we have because we're using typescript we have to put in our types which is the interface here so is logged in is a boolean just takes in uh, yes or no and then set login is a function which will take in that yes or no as well to set it up and then we simply pass that to the auth, pro auth provider as we said like the, the, the provider allows the children to subscribe to any value that you want them to have uh, in this case which is is which is the login state so that's what we do here so we have this auth provider which is auth context which is the provider and then we pass in the values that we want the children to subscribe to and uh and then we pass in the children children here you have to also pass them in which is like the props in this case so yeah that's that's, that's pretty pretty much pretty much it uh if you have any question just simply put it in the description uh in the comment section yeah but uh, i hope you like this workflow simple way to implement navigation within your app Cheers.